Welcome back to our special coronavirus planning for pandemic. I want to go right to our next guest, Dr. Kelly Victory. She's a public health expert, uh, has worked for disaster preparedness, medical manager of mass casualties, uh, pandemic planning. This is exactly who we need to talk to. Dr. Victory, thank you for being here. Nice to be with you. What do we need to know about coronavirus? Well, we have a seasonal flu outbreak every year. So this outbreak, the coronavirus, is differentiated somewhat in that it's a different class of virus than the one that we normally deal with on a seasonal basis. We've had several other uh, coronavirus outbreaks. The first one most people will remember is the SARS outbreak that happened in 2002, 2003. Um, then we had a outbreak of Middle Eastern respiratory virus in 2014. That was also a coronavirus and now this one. And what differentiates coronaviruses, Mike, is really that they have the um, somewhat unique ability to be what we call zoonotic, which means they can start in an animal and move to a human and from humans back to animals. So that's sort of a unique feature about these. And unfortunately, like all viruses, they have the ability to mutate, to change over time, which makes them somewhat problematic to try to respond to because we come up with a vaccine or we start coming up with what we believe is going to be a potential treatment. And the virus has a tricky way of being able to mutate so that we're kind of always chasing our tails. Yep. Is this more deadly than the seasonal flu? It is. Now, the death rate from the seasonal flu is generally quoted at about 0.1%. Uh, the current uh, mortality rate for this particular coronavirus is around 2%, so significantly higher than seasonal flu, but still really very, very low, all things considered. When you compare it to something like Ebola, the Ebola at one point, the mortality rate was, was you know, approaching 70%. So we're talking about a very, very different magnitude. And again, based on what we know, because a lot of this comes out of China, and we don't know a lot, you know, we can't trust all that. Um, but my understanding with the seasonal flu is the most vulnerable people would be the very young and, and the old, uh, very old. Uh, are you seeing that true with coronavirus, or is the coronavirus more like the Spanish flu, where you have otherwise healthy people who are um, dying from it? Great question. It appears right now that corona, this particular coronavirus is very much like the seasonal flu in that the people at the highest risk would be the very young, the very old, or people who have underlying medical conditions such as asthma or emphysema. They might be diabetics. Um, people who are on long-term steroid usage, for example, an asthmatic who has been on prednisone for a prolonged period of time, people on chemotherapy whose immune systems might be otherwise compromised. So right now, the coronavirus is looking like the seasonal flu. You are absolutely correct that uh, the swine flu, avian flu uh, that has happened in the past have been very strange that they have in fact impacted people who are otherwise healthy folks sort of in their middle age or younger age uh, which is unusual